Marlins second baseman and the reigning National League batting champion D. Gordon has been suspended 80 games for PED use. Gordon said in a statement that he made a mistake and accepts the consequences but did not knowingly take banned substances. Now this according to our Jason Stark. Gordon tested positive in spring training and initially appealed the suspension but dropped the appeal late Thursday night, hence the late announcement from MLB. Stephen A., what's your reaction to the latest? Incredibly disappointing. Hard to believe that he didn't know uh, what he was doing. Uh, you want to believe him, especially knowing his dad, uh, who's respected highly in baseball circles. His dad is Tom Gordon. Uh, you certainly want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but in this day and age, how can you? We're talking about PED use in the sport of baseball. We're talking about guys who have been on the record lying religiously when they never got, when, when they were never court testing positive and so you know for him uh to be found out like this uh david sampson who i've met and have spoken to the president for the miami marlins uh, on several occasions in the past good man uh, it's it just it was sad to see him it was sad to see don mattingly it was sad to see the miami marlins having to deal with this more importantly you're just sad for d gordon because uh i'm here to tell you nobody's going to believe that you didn't know what you were doing uh, you were not a guy that was effective until 2014, and then all of a sudden, over the last year and a half, you've been the, you, you've been one of, if not the best hitters. You're the reigning defending batting champion. You batted 333 last year. Uh, you had your first time Gold Glover, led the league in hits and stolen bases, and now here you are, uh, you batting 266 this year with just two with just six stolen bases. Uh, but nevertheless, your level of production essentially came out of nowhere within the last year and a half to two years. That's always going to strike a red flag. And so for him to get caught uh, doing this, you just find yourself saying something has to be done. It's a worthy discussion because obviously people are going to bring up the fact that Barry Bonds is the hitting coach on this team. Let's keep in mind Barry Bonds just arrived, had nothing to do with this, okay? So let's keep that in mind right here before anybody, there's a swell of cynicism or controversy creeps up. Barry Bonds has nothing to do with what D. Gordon was doing. Uh, number two, and more importantly, though, according to new rules, in Major League Baseball, if you get caught during the season, you're automatically ineligible for the postseason. I understand that. That's a big, big blow uh, for the Miami Marlins. But I'll say this, Skip, they should add an additional punishment to it. Until Major League Baseball finds a way to get money from these players for committing these transgressions, you're never going to alleviate the problem. You literally have to scare them straight, like as in pursuing money that you ultimately earned if it can be discovered that your cheating, you know, has taken place over a, a certain period of time. Just sitting there, I mean, because he, he signed a five-year, $50 million deal. And so, yeah, he's going to be suspended and what have you. May not get may not get paid for those games. But when, he's come, when he comes back, that contract will still be in place. Maybe, just maybe, if you get caught using performance-enhancing drugs and it gave the team a right to suspend your contract, maybe, just maybe, you won't have to worry about PED use because even when you come back, you should be forced to have to renegotiate your yep. deal as opposed to holding firm to the contract you signed. You do that and you might alleviate, P you might eliminate PED use in baseball. But until then... I see there's every incentive to cheat because even when you come back, your money's going to still be waiting. Fair point. I also loved your point about Barry Bonds. Again, I remain a Bonds fan. I know some people will leap to that conclusion. Barry Bonds did not start with this team until late February. In all likelihood, this test was taken in March. In all likelihood, he appealed it for a while, then he finally dropped the appeal, and it took time for this to be announced. So... Mm -hmm. Let's eliminate Barry Bonds from the equation for the moment. I find this story fascinating on a couple of levels. The moral to this PED story is that PED violators come in all shapes and sizes. This was not the typical PED violator who just wanted to hit more home runs to make more money and maybe set some records. And in the end, Stephen A., this wasn't the typical PED violator who fought his way up from poverty and wanted to make mega millions by hitting home runs. 
This was a kid who grew up with some money and, dare I say, some privilege, as you point out, as the son of former big league pitcher Tom Gordon. He grew up in that Windermere edition. You know that one in Florida? That's, that's Tiger Woods' yes. old neighborhood. So I, I, I think Shaq's, they were doing okay, oh, they, they, you know? Shaq, Tiger Woods, yeah. all of them, they're doing fine. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. A lot of golfers live there. Payne Stewart, God rest his soul, lived there. Okay, so that's where he grew up. And I'm assuming that in this case, maybe he felt some pressure to live up to his father's achievements in professional baseball. And I'm going to go back to what I saw happen from 2011 to 2014. Remember, this kid spent most of seven years in the minor leagues. It's hard to make it to the major leagues. When he finally did make it, it's because his weight from 2011 to 2014 went from 144 pounds, we're talking about a little man here, 144 to 173. So that's, that's almost 30 pounds that he put on. So we're taking the low end of the spectrum physically and we're trying to beef him up and bulk him up just to get to 173 at about 5'11". So all of a sudden, you know, he led the league in hitting and in steals last year. We're not talking about the typical big, broad-shouldered PED violator who wants to slug home runs. He just needed to make it on his speed and his, his ability to make contact. But you're not going to make it and stay making it at 144 pounds. It's just too little. So I'm, I'm just going to guess that whatever... He took, he started taking in 2011 to increase his weight by almost 30 pounds. That's a pretty big leap. That's just me. Yeah, yeah, but I, there's plenty of people who figured out how to gain weight without breaking the rules along the way. I don't know. And that's what, that's it's, what the unfortunate. It's hard. Well, I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. just, I'm not saying. Yeah, I understand it. Well, it's hard to gain the right weight, weight and muscle, whatever. It ain't hard to gain the weight and fat. Let me tell you, I can testify to that. <laughs> oh, that's but let me tell you that. But let me. Tell you that. No, <laughs> that's right. I'm just saying that. that, that, that that's right. In, 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 in all seriousness, it's just that you you got to find a way. And I again. I understand it. It's not like we need to engage in condemning the kid as if he's a finished product. But it's important to point out that you know what the rules are before you you apply to play with the game. And, and you know, with with the game. And so, if you're going to violate it, at the point with Major League Baseball and the Players Association, I, it goes a long way. When yeah. you sit there and say you're ineligible for the postseason, I got, I got it. But if you really want to I'll eradicate the money. Take yeah. away that country. No, I, I agree with you, but in the big picture right here, we see three players recently got busted. So they're still busting players, and they just busted a really good player. And how these guys are so stupid to get caught, I don't know, because it's so sophisticated now. I think a lot are still using, and most still beat the test. That's just me. Yeah, I agree. All right.